Hello, everyone. I'm coming on right now to pray for the persecuted church. And I'll be praying a lot of scripture um, based out of Ephesian, Ephesians for the church. So, God, right now, I just come to you humbly and asking God that you will be with the persecuted church, God. I pray that you will release boldness to them, that they'll be able to continue in their faith, God, as they're facing persecution, as they're facing resistance from sharing their faith, as their lives are in danger, God, just by believing in you, I pray that you will give them boldness, that you will strengthen them and you will encourage them. I pray that persecuted pastors and believers will be filled with love and compassion for their enemies, oh God. I pray that they'll be able to forgive. I pray that they'll be able to minister to their enemies, God, that they'll be able to share love and compassion, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the persecuted believer would know the hope that is found in you. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18, it says, I pray that the eyes of your, your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. Oh God, I just pray, Father, that you will enlighten their hearts, enlighten their eyes, oh Lord, to know the hope that is found in you, God. When they feel hopeless, oh God, because of persecution, when they feel hopeless because of of uh, the loss of their family or the rejection from their family. I pray that they'll find that hope in you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you'll give them strength, supernatural strength, Holy Spirit. May they find strength through your word. May they find strength through your presence, oh God. Ephesians chapter uh, 3, verse 16 through 17 says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love, God, I pray that they'll be rooted and established in your love, Jesus, that no matter the persecution that they face, that they face, oh Lord, that they'll know that they are loved by you. There no persecution, no devil, no words from man, no threats, no rejection can stop them from feeling your love. So God, I pray for my brothers and sisters that are being persecuted in, across the world in Africa, oh God, in the Middle East, uh, in, in Asia. God, I pray where there are underground churches and people are, are, are meeting in secret just to worship you, just to praise you. God, I pray that you will encourage them. I pray that you will strengthen them. And God, even in America, God, even though we have the rights and the freedom to worship you, God, I pray that where there's uh, uh, backlash from Christians, if they make a certain stance on some things, oh Lord, I pray that uh, more believers will not uh, be afraid to make a stance for, for what you say in your word, oh God. Well, what you say, oh God, I pray that they'll be able to make a stance and boldness in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And God, I, I want to encourage you all uh, just to pray for the persecuted church. Uh, if, look up some scriptures, pray those scriptures um, for the persecuted church. Uh, the Ephesians chapter 6, verse 20. Um, uh, what are some other scriptures you can pray? Uh, just pray for their strength. Uh, just pray for their strength and keep the body of Christ in prayer. All right, signing out.